we want people to make informed choices about who they choose for president of the United States. Yeah. That's why this book is important. And there are some good journalists out there that do a good job. They actually care about the truth and not just headlines and clickbait. But this book, I think, really will open eyes, and for journalists as well, because the amount of information that's in there and the number of citations, yeah. um, you know, really, this was very heavily uh, referenced and researched, and it's Well, but that's really the reality. Good, like, there are a couple job. of good journalists left, but I think even some of the agencies they work for won't let them do something that would be negative against the Biden. So, literally, we have to take it upon ourselves editors, to, yeah. to show the other side of the story that everyone refuses to tell. So, right. it goes into everything. Thing, his track record on trade, pushing American jobs to China, Hunter, the Hunter, you know, businesses, the shady dealings. His Again, brother. Again, we could have written volume number two with everything we know about Joe's Comey right now, well. Joe's brother. Mm -hmm. So, you know, make sure that if you have people that are on the fence, there's so much at stake in this election. Don't let these crooks get away with it. Don't let this behavior become acceptable practice in America. Get yourselves a book. Educate yourselves. Use that as the basis to have a conversation and dialogue with those people who may be on the fence. It's true. Because uh, this stuff matters, guys. Uh, it's not a joke. So, you know, I, I wrote the book Liberal Privilege because it was so important to make all these points. Kimberly did that and she did the audio book. So do yourselves a favor. Check out the book. Go get it because it's not just for you if you're a fan, but it, it's also for you if you're talking to people you who may be on the and fence. Inform yourself and actually get the facts. Um, you know, he did, and we tried to do the job that the mainstream media wasn't doing, which was uncovering actually what had happened. And you're seeing this play out in real time, where right now these reports are coming to light, and it's everything that people thought and more. If we were doing that, I'd be in jail. Right. I'd be trying to do this video through a pay iPhone, feeding quarters in there, baby. Oh, it, my it, God. It, it, it would be bad. bad. You never even have any quarters. It, it would be <laughs> true.